Welcome to Review Central. This is DCAT reviewer number 6, featuring questions for the DCAT science subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take, the De La Salle College Admission Test or DCAT. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous DCATs. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Now let's begin. Question number 1. Physics. A 2 kg object received a net force with a magnitude of 110.4 newtons. What is the acceleration of the object in meters per square second? A. 11.04 B. 24.1 C. 27.6 D. 55.2 E. 66.24 the correct answer is D, 55.2 meters per square second. Recall your physics formula for acceleration. Plugging in the given values for net force and mass, we can compute for the acceleration to be 55.2 meters per square second. Question number 2. Earth Science. Given the following characteristics, which of the following describe cinder cone volcanoes? 1. Low viscosity. 2. High viscosity. 3. Shortest. 4. Quiet eruption. 5. Violent eruption. 6. Low silica. 7. High silica. 8. Simplest. 9. Most complex. 10. Single vent. Your answer choice are A. 2 and 3. B. 3 and 5. C. 7 and 9. D. 3 and 8. E, 4 and 7. The correct answer is D, 3 and 8. Cinder cone volcanoes are considered to be the shortest volcanoes. Their height doesn't usually exceed 300 meters due to their rare eruptions. Its lava has a basaltic composition which makes it less viscous, however, it is high in pressure which initiates lava fountain and spews out volcanic rocks. This quite gentle eruption does not create any other landforms on the volcano, thus, it is also known to be the simplest type of volcano. Mauna Kea, a volcano on the American island of Hawaii, and Mount Etna, a volcano on the Italian island of Sicily, are both covered with hundreds of cinder cones. Question number 3. Physics. What is the power rating of a water heater that uses 3 kilowatt hour of electrical energy in 45 minutes? A. 2.25 watts. B. 3 watts. C. 4 watts. D. 3000 watts. E. 4000 watts. The correct answer is E. 4000 watts. Recall your power formula from your physics class. Power is equal to energy over time. Plugging in the given values, we can calculate the power and arrive at 4000 watts is the correct answer. Question number 4. Earth Science. Corrosion of rocks because of acid rain is an example of what type of geological force? A. Chemical weathering. B. Alluvial fan erosion. C. Chemical erosion. D. Artificial weathering. E. Internal force. The correct answer is A. Chemical weathering. When an iron abundant rock has been exposed to acid rain, it has the tendency to change in chemical composition. This is an example of chemical weathering. Question number 5. Biology. What is the main function of flagella? A. Absorption. B. Digestion. C. Locomotion. D. Protection. E. Secretion. The correct answer is C, locomotion. Flagella, singular, flagellum, are microscopic hair-like structures involved in the locomotion of a cell. The word flagellum means whip. The flagella have a whip-like appearance that helps to propel a cell through the liquid. Question number 6. 
Question number 6. The Solar System. The following statements that compare the characteristics of terrestrial planets compared to Jovian planets are true, except a. Terrestrial planets rotate on their axes much slower than the Jovian planets. b. Terrestrial planets complete their revolution slower because these planets have longer orbit circumference than the Jovian planets. c. Terrestrial planets are mostly made up of solid materials, and therefore have a greater density than the Jovian planets. d. Terrestrial planets, due to the close or short distance from the Sun, appear brighter than the Jovian planets. e. None of the above. The correct answer is B. It is not true that terrestrial planets complete their revolution slower because these planets have longer orbit circumference than the Jovian planets. The planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are called terrestrials because they have a compact, rocky surface like Earth's terra firma. The terrestrial planets are the four innermost planets in the solar system. Terrestrial planets are mostly made up of solid materials, and therefore have a greater density than the Jovian planets. Due to their close or short distance from the Sun, they appear brighter than the Jovian planets. Terrestrial planets complete their revolution faster, not slower, because these planets have shorter, not longer, orbit circumference than the Jovian planets. Some of you may find statement A quite confusing, so let's discuss it a bit. Is it true that terrestrial planets rotate on their axes slower than the Jovian planets? Many people may find it hard to believe that the giant Jovian planets are spinning so much faster than the smaller terrestrial planets. In fact they do. But why and how? The Jovian planets have a great deal of mass. The more mass a planet has, the more angular momentum it generates, and hence the faster it would spin. Just for comparison, the surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second, or roughly 1670 kilometers per hour. That's mighty fast, right? Jupiter, on the other hand, is spinning at a whopping 45,583 kilometers per hour. That's 27 times faster than Earth's rotation. For your reference, here's a short video clip showing the relative rotational speed of the planets in the solar system. Question number 7. Genetics. What is the relationship among DNA, gene, and chromosome? A. A chromosome is made up of proteins and DNA organized into genes. B. A gene contains hundreds of chromosomes, which are composed of DNA. C. A chromosome contains hundreds of genes, which are composed of protein. D. A gene contains hundreds of chromosomes, which are composed of protein. E. A gene is composed of DNA, but there is no relationship to a chromosome. The correct answer is A. A chromosome is made up of proteins and DNA organized into genes. Chromosomes carry DNA in cells. DNA is responsible for building and maintaining the human structure. Genes are segments of DNA, which give physical characteristics that make a person unique. Together, the body has a complete instruction manual that tells its cells how to behave. Question number 8. Earth Science. Based on the different geologic laws, what are the first five layers that have deposited on the figure as shown? A. Layers B, K, N, A, and D. B. Layers A, M, D, N, and K. C. Layers H, E, G, L, and C. D. Layers M, C, L, G, and E. E. Layers E, G, L, C, and M. The correct answer is E. In sequencing events, it is important to start from the bottommost layer because that is usually where the oldest layer is found. It can be observed that layer E is the oldest layer, followed by layer G, L, and C. After these layers are deposited, fault H cuts through these four pre-existing layers. New layers are then deposited which start from layer M, followed by layer D, and J. Next, layer A intrudes which cross-cuts layer C, G, L, C, M, D, and J. After that, layer N starts to accumulate, followed by layers K and B. Subsequently, the outcrop was compressed and folded, which resulted in its slanting. Lastly, layer F is set. 
Therefore, the first five layers of deposit are E, G, L, C, and M. Question number 9. Chemistry? Elements in the same group of the periodic table have A. The same number of protons B. The same number of neutrons C. The same number of electrons D. The same number of electron shells E. The same number of electrons in their valence shells The correct answer is E. The same number of electrons in their valence shells a group is a column on the periodic table of elements. Elements in a group have the same number of valence electrons. As a result, elements in the same group often display similar properties and reactivity. Question number 10. Earth Science. The atmospheric condition on a certain location at a certain period of time is called what? A. Weather. B. Climate. C. Monsoon. D. El Nino. E. Squall. The correct answer is A. Weather. Atmospheric condition of a location at a certain period of time is referred to as weather. This is different from climate, which is the average atmospheric state for at least 30 years. A monsoon is a seasonal prevailing wind in the region of South and Southeast Asia, blowing from the southwest and bringing rains, in the Philippines we call it the Habagat, or from the northeast bringing cold breeze, in the Philippines we call it the Inihan. El Niño and its counterpart, La Niña, are the warm and cool phases of a recurring climate pattern across the tropical Pacific. A squall is a sudden violent gust of wind or a localized storm, especially one bringing rain, snow, or sleet. You have just completed DCAT Reviewer number 6, which featured questions for the DCAT Science subtest. If you wish to watch more DCAT Reviewers for the DCAT Science subtest, check out our DCAT Science Reviewers playlist. Check out also our other DCAT playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central, and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified, whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful, and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming DCAT, and we look forward to your exciting days as a Lazalian. Animal LaSalle.